I'm Eric Lee. Uh, I'm an artist. I'm an abstract painter. I'm working on a project with the students here at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. I'm really looking forward to a project that we're going to do together based on my type of art but produced by the students. This is some of my artwork around me. One of the things that is a hallmark of my work is the way that different colors interact and the way that lines overlap and that personalities overlap and I think the diverse student body here coupled with the diversity of skills that will come to the process of producing it are going to really evidence themselves in the final project. We're going to produce a number of panels. We're still deciding how many panels that will be above a fireplace here at the institution. They'll be coming down to my studio, giving them a chance to work in an actual working artist studio. And I think as long as each person brings who they are to the piece, there's no way it won't be successful. I met Eric at the Art Fair in the Square in Madison during the summer, and as soon as I met him, I was attracted to his energy and enthusiasm, and after speaking with him for just a couple of minutes and looking at his beautiful artwork, I knew there were going to be some great opportunities for a collaborative relationship between him and UW-Whitewater. And so after talking for a brief time, we decided to develop a partnership where he would collaborate with some students that would come together to create a permanent art piece for the University Center and that would be permanently displayed in the Warhawk Connection Center. I was walking through the UC and a friend of mine told me to go upstairs. She was like, you're gonna like it, just go upstairs, don't argue with me, go upstairs. I get upstairs and there he is and I'm just like, oh, oh wow, well, let's do it. These opportunities only come once in a lifetime. So to work with um, a nationally renowned artist that came to Whitewater to show his work and then picked to help him with an installment was, man, that's just, it's great. We arrived to Eric's studio, it kind of showed us around a little bit and we got started right away. Uh, it was very difficult to get started because of everyone's different perspectives and we were trying to find a common ground to kind of go off of. It's a problem solving exercise at first because they have to develop a, an idea, a theme, how they're going to approach the project. It is a particularly complicated project in that there are so many um, people participating in a single piece of art. So their first hurdle is to figure out how they're going to approach the problem even prior to solving it. This project definitely relates to LEAP. It's a high impact practice. Certainly they were needing to tap into their creative problem solving skills, communication skills, decision making, and it was just great to see them work through that the entire time that we were at Eric's studio. What I hope they get out of it is uh, an appreciation for what they're capable of. The planning started with uh, when Andrew came up with the idea that we, um, that we should do a uh, a collaborative piece inside of the collaborative piece so it was like okay why not represent Whitewater in the most literal but abstract sense by doing the Hulk and not only did they like that idea we also started to, to draft and everything right away we started to work on the individual panels there was one panel that was left out so I took uh, my piece redid it to fit the middle piece and to actually incorporate that, that empty panel. It was very democratic. The back and forth of the, of the conversation went in a way that was, seemed healthy and, and that, was, that was something that I have to learn to do better and this thing that a lot of artists have to learn to do better. You think of it your way and, and the only way is your way. Being able to, to, to learn from a lot of different minds, a lot of different artists' minds, even people that aren't in art majors to see their perspective on life when it comes from art. You see a lot of different things in people and the things that they like and the ideas that they hold as, as individuals when they do their artwork. Now I have a mark not only in my life as a student, but on the campus, you know, I'll have something that is, that'll be displayed for forever until they come and change it again. So that's definitely definitely one of the things that I was focused on. And this is the final piece behind me. I'm really happy the way the piece turned out. I think it really represents the university well. The students collaborated, the piece is cohesive and yet maintains the individual nature of the students. So I'm really happy to have been a part of this. It's been a wonderful event and wonderful affair doing work with the students. That's about it.